We have a new HuffPost YouGov poll about the excitement in the Democratic and Republican parties. Listen to this. Just 13% of Democrats and Democratic-leaning voters say they're enthusiastic about their party's future compared to 35% of Republicans and Republican-leaning voters who say they are enthusiastic about the outlook for the GOP. 51% of the Democratic group say they're at least satisfied about the outlook for their party, with 25% dissatisfied and 13% upset. Among the Republican group, 71% say they are at least satisfied with 16% dissatisfied and 6% upset. Okay, so, what you see here is very concerning. Because I would imagine that after an election, you would have the Democratic Party feeling like, let's rebuild, let's do it the right way, and let's take it over. 50-state strategy, let's do our thing, let's get to work. All systems go, baby, all hands on deck. No. So, again, 51% of Democrats say there's some, I guess I'm satisfied with my party. 51%. 71 with Republicans. That is way more. 13% of Democrats say they're enthusiastic. Only 13% of Democrats are enthusiastic about the Democratic Party. Again, for Republicans, much higher. 35% say they're enthusiastic about their party, excited about their party. I know I'm going to get shit for this because people don't like to beat up on the candidate who just lost, but this is, the, this is Hillary Clinton. That's what this is. This is Hillary Clinton. This is Obama. This is the corporatist wing of the Democratic Party that has now, if you notice, they've fully embraced in recent years the incrementalist argument. Remember, when Obama won in 08, and even in 2012 when he ran, it was change, 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 change. But then after a while, when they become the status quo, when they become the establishment, when they've been in there th that long, then it becomes, you know, America's already great. Remember, that's what Hillary Clinton said during the campaign. America's already great when Trump said, make America great again. So Trump was the candidate, change, make America great again. We're struggling now, aren't we? We're struggling, make America great again. America's already great. I'm going to continue with what we're doing. I'm the candidate of the establishment. The candidate of the establishment never wins, never wins. And now we're seeing the results of that. When the Democratic Party, with open arms, embraces Wall Street and the establishment... And when after the election, they deflect and they scapegoat for why Hillary lost, only 13% of the party is excited. 51% are satisfied. But it's 71% of Republicans satisfied and 35% who are excited. So, and again, the other number too, I think is really interesting. They say for uh, Democrats, dissatisfied is 25% and 13% are upset. So let's do the math on that. So 25, 35, so 38% of Democrats are just like, oh, they're not happy. I mean, that's fucking, that's nearly half the party. You expect to do well in the next election when that's the case? It's time to reinvigorate. Build from the ground up. Actually do a 50 say strategy. Have a pledge. The Democrats need a pledge. All the candidates who run, I will take no money from corporations. I will take no money from billionaires. We're going to all try to do this Bernie Sanders style, $27 at a time. The people. I'm going to represent the people, so I want your money. I don't want the money of the billionaires. I don't want the money of the corporations. I don't want any Wall Street money. You want to reinvigorate? You do that, and you fight for actual progressive policy goals. But they're not learning the lesson, which means the Democrats are in big trouble.